Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of Solo Sarah Doman, also known as Commander Ziliana. And the goal for this video is to make as much money as possible in a time span of 10 hours, since I do already have the pet. So we are just going for profit on this one. The gear for this video is as shown on screen, and uh, unlike my loot from 1000 Sarah Doman, video that I did many years ago, I am not using a twisted bow this time around. A little more budget friendly gear, but don't get me wrong, this stuff is still pretty expensive depending on, you know, how much money you have in the bank. The inventory setup did change a few times during this video, but as you can see on screen, I was bringing four staminas, four ceradoman brews, eight super restores, and two bastions. This uh, is pretty much how I set up my ceradoman kill. I do blowpipe two of the minions, sometimes three depending on the spawns, but most most of the time I just blow pipe two of them so that the venom starts stacking. And then as most of you know, you just pretty much keep your distance from Commander Ziliana and you run around the walls, run around the room, and you keep on hitting as you're running. So this is kind of the very first kill of the video and this is just uh, to show you guys how I was doing this for 10 hours. I did have pretty good range bonus so my hits were somewhat accurate and I was always potted, always using rigor and uh, for the most part I would say tanking pretty well too. This was really good armor and the helmet it helped me a lot as well so the minions weren't doing too much damage to me as you can see praying magic deflecting him and running away from starlight so the melee hits were not there as well it's definitely been a long time since i've been to sarah doman but what a way to get welcomed back ladies and gentlemen the very first kill of the video armadil crossbow coming in yeah that definitely brought a big smile to my face this is the most expensive item one in 508 that you can receive from commander ziliana at a current price of 32.9 million GP. Does it get any better? Oh my gosh, it really doesn't because I mean, it's just the most expensive thing and I've never once gotten a drop on the very first kill of any video. So this is years in the making. And yeah, uh, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. Let's get into it. Sarah Doman God Wars. Definitely my favorite God Wars video that I've done so far. It's my favorite God Wars boss compared to Armadil, Zamorak, and Bandos. My favorite thing about this boss is just just how long you can stay here compared to all the other God Wars bosses. Uh, I was definitely getting like double, triple the kills per trip per inventory compared to the other God Wars that I've been doing recently. And this is mainly due to the fact that you get so many food drops, so many supply drops here that the only problem I was ever encountering was just stamina potions. I would always run out of energy before I ran out of prayer or food. If I could go back in time, I would probably have brought a Ring of Endurance versus a Ring of Suffering, although the Ring of Suffering was helpful to kill those minions. And this was my first trip, so I was just getting the hang of things still. As you can see, you know, the normal drops are not too bad either. 19k coins, adamant plate body, some Renar seeds, those stack up nicely. But what we really want to see is another Armadil crossbow in the same inventory. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I was stunned. You could not imagine my reaction. I wish it was live commentary, but yeah, I, you know, a lot of cursing, you know, a lot of excitement going on there. Another 32.9 mil coming in and I say 32.9 because uh, currently I'm looking at the wiki and that is the most updated price so a little extra 500k per crossbow there and just price checking the uh, 5 kills I think this was uh, it's 65 mil made already guys so you know wow you know first uh, 20 minutes into the video so for those who are curious I was getting about 22 to 24 kills every single hour here and as it goes for obtaining the ecumenical keys I was not including that in the timer. I did make sure to throw in the clips of me obtaining those keys later on in the video though, showing how I got them pretty quickly. And uh, here's a Rune 2H, which is 1 and 677. Following the Rune 2H is a little bit uh, better of a sword, the Saradoman Sword, which is 312k. This is 1 in 127 from Saradoman or Commander Ziliana. I don't know what to call her. I just kind of say Saradoman God Wars, you know, keeps it original. But yeah, so that's a nice drop. Three drops this inventory. Gonna use a separate bank tab. Of course, I have an Armadil crossbow equipped, so I'm just gonna take that placeholder out of my main tab. And we'll use that last bank tab to track all of the loot for this video 
alongside using Runelight. Now, as I mentioned, getting 22 to 24 kills an hour, that's mainly due to the fact that you do have to run around the room, and that takes a long time. That's why these kills take a minute, you know, compared to face tanking Bandos or Zamorak. Uh, there's no running involved in that, really, the way I kill them anyway. So that's why these kills were at that hourly rate. And of course, this was with an Armadale crossbow in my current setup. So if you have enough money for a twisted bow and full Missouri or a full crystal armor, then you'll definitely get more kills an hour than I was because there'll be uh, quicker kills rather than longer kills. And I know there are some people out there that just have a twisted bow. You know, they like doing that twisted bow rebuild where you only have a T bow and that's all. And, you know, you have to build it up from scratch from there. And I'd always tell people, you know, Saradome and God Wars, definitely the way to go if you have a twisted bow unlocked and you're doing that kind of rebuild. So, yeah, very beneficial to bring that here. So, alongside all the supply drops featuring prayer potions, super restores, Saradome and brews, I would also get healed from my blow pipe spec on starlight and bones to peaches as well as monkfish and summer pie drops that combined with avoiding sarah the whole kill as well as starlight you know only taking damage from the range minion essentially is why these solo trips are so laid back and you can get so many kills in one inventory i could not imagine duoing here i mean you could probably last forever and of course you could bring guffins if you want to use that route for the minions to get full hp but overall i really enjoy the blow pipe spec and i've really enjoyed doing a lot of solo videos lately. There is a God Sword Shard 3 drop, this time from a minion instead of Commander Ziliana, so I will take that. Nice little 160k there. And following up on that God Sword Shard 3 drop, the very next kill at Sarah was a Sarah Doman Sword once again, so I will take it. I actually really had a feeling that kill that I'd get a drop, but you know, wish it was a crossbow again or a hilt. I'll take a hilt. But either way, it's gonna add to the price check. Those Sarah Doman Swords used to be uh, worth a lot of money, but not too much anymore. They have definitely seen better days, but now it's time to get five more ecumenical keys because I just got done with my fifth trip at Sarah here. This is how I go about getting keys. I found this on YouTube a couple months back that this is the fastest way to get ecumenical keys, just bringing blood barrage as well as this gear setup and stacking up as many monsters as you can in the dungeon. And yeah, you get these keys very quickly, but it does cost a little bit of money. But since I was already so ahead in this video, I figure it's definitely worth it to spend spend a little bit more money to save a little bit of time. So that's what I went and did, and I got five keys in probably under 20 minutes. And you can also get some cool scrolls and other nice rune items there too. I did mention earlier that you can get some adamant plate bodies as well as some rune items, this being the rune kite shield, the plate skirts, and alongside this you can also get six noted diamonds, a lot of law runes, and noted renars as well as renar and magic seeds. Didn't see too many magic seeds uh, unless it was towards the end of the video, they are one in 100 127, so kind of similar to getting the uh, Saradome and Sword drop. Sadly, they're only about 76k right now, so that's, yeah, that's all right. I would say the normal drops here are really good, and the normal drops at Bandos are really good, but Armadil and Zamorak, not so much. So, you know, that is one, another benefit of killing Sarah, is you'll always get really good Alkables. And if you're curious why I didn't bring High Alk, it's because most of the time I didn't really need it. I was eating enough food and drinking enough potions to have that inventory space to pick up the drop and I also really like building a loot tab so it bothers me to actually high out these items because it's just a big coin stack and that's not exciting to me I love seeing items in the bank that's what does it for me so yeah but I'd recommend especially if you're duoing uh to get that high out in your uh rune pouch because that'll save you a lot of inventory space well here we go with another drop this time the Sarah Doman's light one in 254 for this one and it's only worth about 100k but nevertheless it is a drop I didn't show my collection log in this video because it was already completed before I started, so uh, yeah, you just gotta trust me on that one, I guess. Here's a pretty weird drop from Sarah. This is a shield left half. Sorry for my bad spelling there, but yeah, we uh, got this, and it was about 4.2k, 1 in 4.2k, so very rare to receive that. Receiving the pet is 1 in 5,000, so I guess it's not that bad since it's not over the pet drop rate, but yeah, I already had the pet, so that's okay with me. I wasn't too upset about this, and the bank tab is growing, looking really nice, I must say. And at this point, I had less than 45 minutes to go. I had one more ecumenical key to get. In all honesty, I might have done a little extra for this video. If the timing doesn't seem a little bit right, that is because I might have done an extra 30 minutes. Don't hold it against me, but uh, you'll understand why at the end. Well, I guess uh, it's the end here. Yeah, I mean, we are getting close to the 10 hours being reached, and this is the last kill. So the reason I did a little bit extra is because as you guys saw in the beginning, 
beginning of the video, I did receive two drops in like the first 20 minutes, and then I didn't get anything else after that except the, uh, you know, smaller drops, the light and the swords. So I really wanted to get another drop. Kind of getting greedy there, of course. I even said I was dry at one point. I'm not dry at all. I got incredibly lucky. I don't mean to say I'm dry. I know there's probably people out there really wanting that ACB on their Iron Man, and they're really dry, so don't, uh, don't be too upset with me. But yeah, I was not able to get another drop. Those two ACBs was the highlight of the video, and it would have been incredible to get a 100 mil price check, but we didn't get there this time, which is okay. Now, I am going to open a medium clue that I got from Ecumenical Key Grinding, and also a hard clue that I got from Sarah Doman, but you know, they're just clue scrolls, so don't expect much from that, and there you have it, 60k made. That's yeah, 60k more than I had before, so I will take it. Now it is time for the price check. Let's go ahead and price check everything except the rare drop, so we can get a good idea that if I wasn't able to get a single rare, how much I would have made here, and it turns out it's about 6.1 mil. Not terrible, honestly, in 10 hours, that's like 600k an hour just the normal drops. Of course, you're going to go through some supplies here, but you do get a lot of those supply drops back, so that's not bad at all. Now it's time for the second price check. Two Armadale crossbows, two Sarah swords, and one Sarah Doman's light comes out to be 66.5 million GP. If we go ahead and add those two numbers together, the overall loot from 10 hours of Sarah, also known as Commander Ziliana, comes out to be 72.6 mil, the best and most profitable 10 hour video that I've done so far. Here is the rune light just to confirm the loot. 238 kills overall. Had a lot of fun with this one. It's very laid back compared to uh, Bandos, Armadil, and Zamorak. I will be working on 10 hours of Armadil probably next month because I just released loot from a thousand, so I don't want to do that right away, but I really want the pet, so uh, maybe I'll do it sooner. We'll see. But overall, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I, um, I don't know. I'm just really having a great time with these videos lately, and it's all thanks to you guys. Without you, there is no videos, and uh, I really appreciate it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I should see you in a day or two with a new upload. I don't know what it's going to be, so I guess it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Mr. No Sleep, out.